Hmm. Reach. How can that be, you say? Well, I got an Xbox. Yes, I finally got an Xbox. Now I am officially on both consoles. So you guys can consider this a little quality test. I gotta try and do some recording. I recorded this one out of the theater mode. Messing around with that a little bit. This was an arena doubles game with Spiderbite and myself. Uh, we recorded on the live stream. And uh, you're gonna see I'm somewhat of a, of a noob at this. Uh, there's, there's a pretty steep learning curve here. Whoa! Right off the map. That's not a good way to start. Hey, look at that. Suli's online. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a, you know, trial and error here. I've, it's a little bit frustrating when you've had some success, uh, playing other games and to come in here with, like I said, such a steep learning curve, learning how to, uh, fire and take the shields down and then finish them off with a clean headshot. So I'm working on that. I'm working on my uh, aiming skills and you gotta you gotta remember I just got an Xbox so I'm not just I'm not a halo noob I'm, I'm a complete console noob when it comes to this because I am using the Xbox uh, controller I'm not using my 360 controller with that uh, conversion box um, I wanted to try it out you know I, I have I have larger hands myself and a lot of people have talked about, you know, the difference in the, the comfort of the controllers. And so far, I like both of them. You know, I like both of them for different reasons. I like both consoles for different reasons. Um, anyone who uh, who's like a, a fanboy or a console war type of person, I, I would imagine, you know, now that I have both consoles, I think I can, I can speak on this. If, if they had the opportunity to play on both, I think that you would like them both. Because I do. I definitely like them both. Oh, look at that. Nice grenade. Little little revenge, little payback with that grenade there. So yeah, I, I like both consoles. So I never really had a console war thing going on with me. Now that I have them both and I can, you know, experience them both firsthand, it's pretty cool. I, I, I consider myself pretty lucky to be able to, to have both and have the opportunity to play the the uh, exclusives for both consoles so that's pretty cool but um, yeah the controller is it's taking me a little bit getting used to but I am using it so 360 360 controller and halo all at once I'm I'm jumping in hip deep on this one and and giving it a go I uh, I really like these sci-fi games uh, I think I've said in the past uh, I play the Unreal Tournament 3 and Resistance 2, both on the PlayStation, and I really like those. Um, this one, unlike those games, the uh, the character movement, the rotation's a little bit slower. I'm, I'm still playing with my sensitivity on this. I think on this game and, and this night, I, I cranked it up to about 5 or 6. It felt a little bit better for me, but it, you know, it took some time to adjust my accuracy. But I did like the feel of the of the rotation of the character better with the higher sensitivity so I'm gonna go ahead and, and run with this for a while and hopefully I can have some success with it and this this was a this was a doubles arena game so so far what I found in Halo uh, to my surprise I I found a a fair bit of camping and I think it probably depends on the game type that you're playing um, in these doubles games it's it kind of has the feel of search and destroy. You, you know, you're on these maps and it's just two on two. But uh, we ran into some teams that, you know, they would they would grab that sword, the power sword, um, and they would just camp around corners and wait for you. You know, Spider and myself, we both. Oh, look at this! I pick up this thing. I don't. I don't even really know what it does, and I. I guess it shoots the plasma grenades, and I end up shooting a plasma grenade right to that pillar next to me, and about kill myself with it so maybe I should stay away from those those guns I don't know what's going on with them but yeah spider and I ran into some some different forms of some ridiculousness on this night but again like I said it's I, I blame it on the game type being a, a 2v2 doubles thing we had a couple guys uh, 
with jetpacks that would grab the snipers and jetpack up to the highest point on some of the maps and you know the funny thing was though in all those ones where we considered it kind of BS stuff we, we still ended up beating them and to me that's all that really matters in Halo uh, kill death ratio it's you know it is important that you don't get too many deaths to cost your your team the win but then again you gotta go for the kills and finish them off so it's not that KD doesn't matter in Halo to me I think it's I think it's always important but you know you gotta put yourself out there and go for the kills so hey look at that two of us falling off the map nice um, found some questionable spawns through the night oh watch this spider steals this should have been a flying no scope watch boom look at that and I just got an assist off that that would have been a cool kill right there but um, yeah well, I don't know I don't remember what I was saying uh, but we we did pretty good we did pretty good um, that one level uh, what is it called zealot zealot where the guys go to the very top of the map we were we were tied 17 17 and both of these guys had jetpacks went to the top of the map and jetpacked all the way up to the highest point and sat there there was about three minutes left we weren't gonna go after him finally we just got bored we just got totally bored and we went up there we went at we timed our our approach through two different lifts and we got a kill we went ahead they stayed up there and we won the game pretty stupid if you ask me I don't I don't know what they were thinking but we both we both basically are running sprint you know we're moving around trying to get kills and when you run into guys like that it's a little bit frustrating but I didn't I didn't notice that in the bigger games in the uh, the like 4v4 or the big what is it called big team games yeah it was uh, running around crazy so that's a lot of fun I've tried the skulls game of course I tried the zombies we had a we had a private type thing where we were you know all friends in there and the zombies thing that was fun and what else? Uh, I had a couple of good games from this night. I think I'm going to put together a little clip, you know, a little video of some clips of me sniping actually on that boardwalk map. I had some fun with that. Had some uh, success. Uh, I just noticed there that the shotgun's a one-hit melee. I didn't realize that, so I am learning as I go. Um, my my main evaluation of this game, to me, it seems like it's a battle for power weapons any of the different game types that that spawn power weapons that seems like who's gonna win the game so yeah I, I don't know I don't know what to think about that uh, I like the games where it's basically DMRs I like that where it, you know I think that talking about skill versus skill if everybody's running around <clears throat> excuse me with the with the DMRs for me that's a lot of fun but but again uh, that map boardwalk spawned a sniper rifles and I grabbed them every chance I could and I was having some fun with it so I don't, I don't think I think it's too early for me to form any kind of uh, opinion and definitely not any criticism on it because I think it's a hell of a fun game I I played through the campaign that's the first thing I did to try and get familiar with not only the game and the controls but the controller itself um, that was a lot of fun I just did it on on normal I actually got through on normal it's I think it's a little too easy I, I don't I'm not sure if I even died maybe died only a couple times through the whole campaign but uh, it was a good good training experience there um, so yeah you guys you Xbox subscribers here it is I got one so we can look forward to um, playing some zombies in Call of Duty Black Ops when it comes out so PS3 and Xbox now I'm I'm expanding this so you know not only that I can have both game both consoles and and the exclusives are both but so if I have subscribers from either console I uh, won't exclude anyone now and I know it's you know it's tough for me to get on there and play but I, I'm gonna do the best I can um, maybe try and bring some of you guys in to help me make some of these videos uh, in Black Ops I think that would be pretty cool you guys have come up with some pretty good ideas so yeah there it is game winner that was a fun little game that spider and myself had so thanks for watching the new xbox noob we'll see you next time guys